Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to use the Microsoft Office Cloud Download fonts with non-Office applications. So if you open one of your applications in Office, it's Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, that type of thing, you'll see you have these cloud icons next to some of the fonts, and that is because they are not actually installed on your computer but available to download and install in Office. And these are only used in Office, they're not used in other applications. So let's say I wanted to use this Amesis MT Pro Black. I just click on the cloud icon here, and now it's installed on my computer, and I can go ahead and use it. So now if I were to open another program like WordPad, for example, you know, it could be anything else that you have installed on your computer, and I go to A, you can see I don't have that font installed. So this is because these fonts are not kept in the same location or folder as the regular Windows fonts, which is under the Windows folder. So if we go to our Windows folder, there's actually a fonts folder here that has all of your Windows fonts. So these are also used in your Office applications and other applications such as you know WordPad and Photoshop or whatever else you happen to be using. All right, so to see the cloud download fonts, we have to go to a different location here. So let's go back to the C drive. This time we're going to users, then the username you're logged in with, app data. And if you don't have the app data folder, it's probably hidden, so you could go to the options here, then to the view tab, and make sure this is selected here, show hidden files, folders, and drives. All right, so from there, once you get into app data, local, Microsoft, font cache, number four, and cloud fonts. So I'll put the folder location path in the description so you don't have to worry about writing it down or trying to remember it. Okay, so going back to Word here, so Amesis MT Pro, that's the one we just downloaded, and that's it right here. So like I said, these fonts are only being used in Office applications, not other Windows applications. So there are a couple ways to add them to your other applications. So we're going to need to copy these to the font folder. So you could do them one at a time, and there's a couple ways to do it. So let's just use this one for an example here. So there's the actual font file. So if we go to the Windows settings under Personalization and Fonts, we could click on Browse and Install Fonts. And then, of course, we're going to have to navigate to that same folder here. And this Amesis MT Pro, like that. And now it's been added to our fonts here. So now if we close WordPad and reopen it, to refresh it, go up to A here. Now we could use it here. So that's one way to do it one at a time. And of course, you could also go to the fonts section and control panel. And let's say we want to add this one, a body. There's two of them here. We could just drag and drop them in here. This one's already there, so we'll skip that one. So now that one's added. And you could also drag them into your fonts folder under Windows and Fonts. So this is probably a quicker way than using the Windows settings here, having to browse each time. And if you really want to get crazy here, you could do them all at once by going back to the main folder here. So we're going to search in this cloud font folder for star.ttf because these are TTF fonts, true type fonts. They should all be TTF fonts. So this one has a, quite a bit of them in there. So we'll search for star.ttf. Let's just view this by list. So these are all the fonts in that folder. So there's 45 of them. So I could control A to select them all, and now I could drag them into here, 
and then it'll warn you if it's already there. You could replace it or not replace it. I'll just say replace it just to save some time here. Okay, so now I have all of my Microsoft Office Cloud download fonts installed in Windows with the Windows fonts, and then I'll be able to use them with all my other Windows applications. But one thing you need to keep in mind, let's say I go back to here and I download this one, for example. It's going to put it in my folder here, right there, but it's not going to put it in with the Windows font, so I'd have to come back here and do the same process where I drag and drop this font into there or come to the font setting in Windows settings and browse to it from there and so on. All right, so that is how you take your Microsoft Office Cloud download fonts and install them in Windows so you could use them in your other applications. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.